So scheduling is our main place where you would plan your time. And scheduling um, actually has a couple of co components in it, which I'll explain in a couple of minutes. So right now I'm looking at the timeline and all these bars that, that you see here are actually bookings. And a booking contains the time that I'm allocating to this person. And it also contains the project and the service that I'm booking this person to. So let's perhaps take a look at Lucy here. Uh, and let me create a booking for Lucy. And when I create a booking, it means that I'm allocating Lucy's time against a particular service on a particular project. So uh, to create the booking is actually quite easy. Uh, you could just click anywhere on the timeline and this place where you would click would be the first date of the booking because a booking uh, has a time span, obviously a start date and an end date. So I'll just click here. And now I have to select the project that Lucy will work on. So let's say I'm gonna use this one called social media posts. And now I should also select the service that Lucy will work on. So let's say it's front-end development. Now I should define the time span of this booking. So let's say I want Lucy to start on the 7th of March. And let's say that this is a week's worth of jobs. So it's gonna end on the 14th. Okay, so now I should define when this booking or, or how should I allocate Lucy's time for this booking. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on allocation. And here I will select my booking method. So, so the first and probably the most obvious one, uh, if you're seeing scheduling for the first time is to use hours per day. Um, if I were to book hours per day, that means that I will allocate eight hours per uh, or on this little time span of seven days. I mean, this is obviously changeable, so I can select any time frame or any um, pool of hours that I want. I can also use percentages. And this is really interesting because it takes into account Lucy's actual capacity. So let's say if uh, Lucy's cap uh, capacity is eight hours per day, if I put 50% of her capacity, then that will translate to four hours uh, per each day. Obviously blondes can do math as well. Um, now I'm left with total hours. And this is a really uh, good method if you're not really sure how much hours you would want to allocate per each day, but you still know that you have a pool of hours that you have to allocate for this time frame. So let's say if I put in, let's say 10 hours, then this will allocate 10 hours on this time frame. but I don't really um, bother with the fact when these hours have to be done each day. So let's say Lucy here can actually put uh, two hours and one day and then cram the rest of the eight hours on her last day of this booking. I've now clicked on this last drop down here and it's called left to schedule. And this will actually show me um, looking at my initial estimation for this service, which is front end development. So when I was creating this uh, service, I, I actually estimated that I, I would need 15 hours for the service. I, I haven't worked on the service so far and I haven't scheduled anything on the service so far. And if I create this booking, uh, I will be left with five more hours to book. So let me create this booking right now. Okay, so now it lands here into Lucy's schedule. Okay, so I, I have booked Lucy to work uh, for 10 hours uh, for six days. And since I've used the last booking method, which is total hours, I don't really care when will she do, uh, so in which day will she do those 10 hours? I'm just uh, lo looking that it should be done in this time frame. okay? So this is how would you create a booking? As I said, it's pretty easy. Um, now it's time to take a look on how you would actually manipulate these bookings or how you, you would manage them because as we said before, plans can change. So um, bookings are pretty manageable in a sense that you can move them around, which will obviously change the duration uh, or the time span of it. You can shorten them you can lengthen them and you can also move them to a different person um, if there is a need to do so. So obviously here I can move this booking to this person, Charles, uh, if I have the need. 
Um, but how do I actually know if I can move this booking to a different person or how do I know if I've scheduled enough or, or am I perhaps over scheduling uh, Lucy here? 